So many devs are working with LLMs these days and they don't really know about the fundamentals. And I don't know whether it's my AI bubble on X or something, but I was pretty shocked because only about a third of the people in the workshop put up their hand. And so I wanted to put together a token deep dive for those of you who are using LLMs but kind of need to catch up on what's going on under the hood. And of course, we're going to explain all of these concepts using TypeScript code. Let's start with a diagram here. Tokens are the currency of LLMs. When you send an input of hello world to an LLM, that gets broken down into its constituent tokens. If you send hello world to OpenAI, that is three tokens, billed at an infinitesimally small amount per 1k tokens. So this feels a bit like a mystery if you don't know how tokens work. What is the relationship between tokens and text? And why does the same prompt sent to two different models end up with a different number of tokens? Okay, let's reveal the mystery and talk about what tokens actually are. Every LLM has a different token vocabulary, and these tokens are all of the different words, subwords, and characters that it knows. Each of these words and subwords gets assigned a number, and the number is the token. When we call an LLM, it actually encodes the text that we send it into tokens. And while you think that the LLM is dealing with text, it's actually dealing with these numeric representations of chunks of text. Tokens are the currency of LLMs, and you are charged by the token. But different model providers will treat these inputs differently and produce different numbers of tokens. So tokens are really what the LLM does its thinking in. I've been full-time thinking about AI plus TypeScript for a year now. And if you're interested in learning more about AI or building with AI, especially, then this channel is for you. 